Welcome to a Great Car Basic tutorial demonstration. This is part 13 for the 16F171 chip family. Hello, my name is Evan Vem. If these uh, videos are useful, please press the um, thumbs up down below to let me know that uh, we're making progress. So let's get into this session today uh, and look at uh, graphical LCDs. So we're going to be using a graphical LCD. That's uh, Number 13, unlucky for some maybe, and we're going to be used I squared C. We've used this in the I squared C in the past to discover devices. Now we're going to put some values and some information onto a graphical LCD. What am I using for this? I'm using a microchip uh, low pin count demo board. Um, they're readily, readily available on the internet. But however, uh, Chris Roper has done a layout for us uh, for this particular chip so we can emulate this board. What is that layout? Let me get rid of the camera. That layout is uh, quite simple. We need to connect up four connections to our graphical LCD. I've still retained the, the TX for the uh, serial terminal because we will use that. So what do I need to connect up? Four connections, the ground, VCC, I'm using five volts. Uh, the data line to the I squared C and the clock line to the I squared C, and it will become apparent what they what addresses they're on in a moment. Remember from the previous tutorial, we do need to have uh, pull-up resistors. I've got 2.2k pull-up resistors connected to my lines, so you'll see those um, in the previous video. But essentially, I've got the as I said previously, the data or SDA on port A4 and the clock SCL on port A1. And I do need to set these two via PPS. They're PPS ports, which means I can move them about to meet my configuration, which I've done for this particular demonstration. But that's the layout we had the other day. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look through and just do some simple lines and stuff. And we're going to draw some circles and strings. We're going to have a look at um, a bigger demonstration and simple voltmeter, for instance. But it's all doable uh, via this um, standard library that we've got. And I'm going to show you one particular GCLD. But however, there are many different uh, GCLDs out there. And we support about 15 or 16 of them. So let's have a look at the sample code. We're going to use I2, uh, I2C squared um, discovery to ensure the setup is valid. Then we're going to do some lines and circles and text. And then we'll do sprites and voltmeters. Let's go to the desktop. So let's open up um, GC Studio. Open up GC Studio and then select our folder that we're working in. And it's this one here. And I can see it pop up to say that's the correct folder. Which is great. Well, it's opened up um, a file, but I will close that down to make sure that we recap what we're doing. So I'm going to open the Explorer. Top uh, left or Control B. Oh, it says I've got no folder open. So that's quite interesting. Let's have a look. Open folder. I can then open a folder to my source files. And that's quite interesting because I'm walking my file structure here to my vendor board. We, I did this before. I'm just going to do it again. And I, this is the folder I'm working in. The 16F-17126 um, chip range demonstrations. And I select that folder and it will open up that folder and show me all the files within there. So... Let's just go back and make sure that we've got um, everything operational. So control F to filter to a filter, GCB, apply that filter. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show, um, open up demonstration 150, show I, I square C devices to a serial terminal. And I'm going to open up my terminal by pressing function key F9. And that will actually put it on the screen so that you can see that. And here we go. You should be able to see the terminal. And there we go. 
there's the terminal I'm just going to connect to it and then program that and I just want to verify my hexadecimal numbers for my I squared C devices that are attached to the bus if it returns a result then we know we can continue to the next step great I've got something on uh, port 79 as 78 and 79 hexadecimal that's exactly what I expected so that's good let's get rid of that I'm just closing down terminal because I no longer need it what I'm now going to do is close out that um, particular demonstration and go down to 210 using um, GLCD using the SSD 1306. I'm using a 1306 with the parameters of 128 pixels by 64 pixels. So I open it up and close down the Explorer and we'll walk the code to see that we understand it. Well, guess what? We've got hash chip and option explicit. We know that. We have the PPS and the PPS must be working because it worked in the demonstration for um, discovery. But in recap, we've got the um, SCK on RA1 and the SDA on RA4. You know that? Because we've got a little demo. Uh, here we go. If we, have it a, uh, we have it on our little um, diagram here. I think that's incorrect. I think that should be SLK there. I'm going to go and check that's correct inside of the PPS tool. PPS tool. It's looking at, uh, it's pulling up a list of the files. And then it will open it up once it's done that. So let's just recap where we are. I want the SLK, SCL, SCL1. I'm going to put that on A1. How do I know that? Because it's in my diagram, remember? I might add that in. Oh, it's come across correctly. So it must be a legacy from a typo of a previous one. That's very strange. Uh, I'm going to leave the code as it is because it should work for us right series of um, consonants all to do with the setting the ports inputs and outputs leave that alone we're not touching that we've seen this before this is the block to set up the I squared C we need to give it a bowed rate the data ports on the clock line well we we've already divided those above but we need to do them again and we just need to set the ports as inputs and then into the graphics into the LCD that's it we have to do this. We have to say to it, it has to include a library, and that library is glcd.h. We can tell it it's a library because it's got, and it's a system library, it's got these braces around it. We give it a constant, glc underscore type, under the type of display. And there are lists of displays in the help. And the address for the I squared C address, we know that is 078 because we found that in discovery. So let me just um, delete the rest of this program for the time being. Because what we're going to do is we're going to just put some text on the screen to say, Hello world. And then I'm going to program that and send it out to the device. Well, here's the device. It's black. It's underneath a camera. And uh, we'll see what it does. So the key things there, I've just set up the GLCD by including the library and then using this new instruction, which is called GLCD something, print string, print something. Let's have a look what else is in there. GLCD. There's much. There's many, many, many commands. Okay, that you can, you can actually use. Um, print large font. What's the syntax on that? Press F1. We need to give it a print location of X and Y. So print large font. 
hello. And you can see that the setup is pretty simple. You've got I squared say set up the connections and now the device is working. Hello. So what what was in that actual demonstration that I deleted? Well, it's a pretty standard demonstration, but it shows what we can do. But what I want to do is just show you the primitives. You can do circles. And the middle of this display is at um, 60, 63, 64. The, and the center of it is X and Y dimensions. Uh, so I can actually draw, um, I can draw boxes, circles. What it's now going to do is draw a circle and a line. A box, sorry, a circle and a box. And from that, we can derive many different programs. So if I revert back to the program that was sitting in the demonstration initially, by pressing Control Z, it will put it back. There's our Hello World. Press F5 and it will put it back. And this is a standard sort of demonstration that you can download inside the demonstration folders for every GLCD that we support. And this is going to show you strings. There we go. And then lots of primitives with delays and everything else. So it just sort of shows you what the capabilities are. Let's have a look at something different. If we look in here, there's some sprites. This is written by Stan. And Stan has written games for the microcontrollers. And what it's doing now, I'm just going to put it straight in. Don't even review it because you can look at it it's in your on your own, and then you can write games. That's rather fast, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, Let's slow that down to 10 milliseconds and reprogram it. So you can write games and write sprites. That's quite in, quite insightful. And that was in um, one of the demonstrations, demonstration 220. That's a bit slower. And what you can also do in demonstration 215 you can load BMPs. BMPs are quite useful. There's a translator, and that translator allows us to import the BMP, create the necessary tables, and then draw that on there through a very simple piece of code. So if I change the BMP, let's go to my desktop. I'm going to draw some lines in here. Oh, I'll put in a circle. triangle I save that back into my source program inside here it will then reconvert that for you on the fly it will use the same technique to upload it and so you've got the full uh, range of uh, commands that you can use to load the BMP finally also went by Stan you've got a basic voltmeter. And that voltmeter is going to pull together the ADC that we used to, um, so we're doing a read ADC, we're then scaling that, and we can then display a basic LC, um, a basic uh, voltmeter. I'm rotating the potentiometer now, and that's the maximum value because of the resistors on this circuit what we've got is a pretty simple voltmeter and uh, most of these demonstrations work across the whole range of GLCDs but what we're looking at here is not only the GLCD but the communications across the I squared C and the stability of the microchip controller so it's quite useful back to PowerPoint so what I wanted to cover was using our I squared C 
discovery. We saw that. We proved that the line was there. We looked at some lines and circles, text, etc. in all the demonstrations and sprites and voltmeter. It's quite simple. So tomorrow, what we're going to do is um, something different then. Tomorrow, we're going to do a GLCD display, but it's actually using SPI because that's a different protocol. We need to understand how that works and how we connect that in. So we haven't done anything with SPI before, but SPI is quite useful. And so we'll cover that off tomorrow. And with that, we'll call it a wrap.